Hi everybody, it's Rudy from HPB Pro Sales Group again with a quick video to talk about some of the issues regarding vacuum pump sizing and a couple of other things to keep in mind when evacuating an HVACR system. I've seen several references to sizing a vacuum pump by taking the square of the CFM rating, uh, which then suggests the maximum tonnage of the equipment that uh, that size pump will handle. Um, behind me here are two Bacharach uh, vacuum pumps, one rated at a 1.7 CFM, uh, the other one rated at 5.3 CFM. In theory, the 1.7 CFM pump will be able to handle up to a 3 or 4 ton unit. The 5.3 uh, 5 CFM pump uh, should be able to handle up to a 28 ton piece of equipment. Uh, in many ways, this makes sense, primarily due to other factors which we don't necessarily think about. We assume the bigger the vacuum pump, the faster the evacuation, and that's rarely the case. A couple of other factors have a huge impact on restricting the uh, flow rate. Things like not removing the Schrader core, over tightening the fittings, and another big one, the diameter of the hose. Um, take a look at this uh, cutaway view of a service valve. Uh, leaving the core in and having to use a core depressor in the hose blocks the already small opening off by more than about 90%. Um, over tightening the hose fitting crushes the gasket, pushing it uh, out into the opening to block it off further. And then what happens is it damages the gasket itself, which then leads to further tightening of the fitting, and it just keeps spiraling out of control. Um, to demonstrate the impact of leaving the Schrader in and using a small quarter inch charging hose, uh, take a look at this video. Um, this prop consists of just a bell canning jar with a service valve that uh, epoxied into the top of it. On the left hand side is a 2 CFM pump, on the right is a 5 CFM pump. I have a micron gauge mounted in the uh, fitting connected to the jar, um, and then I just time how long it takes to pump um, each jar down to 500 microns. Um, when I was editing the videos, I had to cut out a little bit of it in the middle because it took forever. So. <laughs> there you have it. The vacuum pump size has very little to do with the rate of vacuum. It took almost uh, exactly two and a half minutes, whether it was the uh, 2 or the 5 CFM pump. Uh, what limited both pumps was the Schrader and only using a quarter inch hose. So by removing the core, you might think that the 5 CFM pump would dominate here. Let's give it a try and see. <laughs> Well, that sped up both of them, but now the quarter inch hose is restricting the flow sufficiently to overcome the higher CFM rating on that 5 CFM pump. And by the way, this is nothing new. Uh, this passage is from a book entitled A Review of Vacuum for Service Engineers written in 1958, and it says the conductance speed of quarter inch refrigeration tubing is too small to be useful as a connecting line to a system, and then he says, so we will not even discuss it. Uh, and it goes on to say, never use it as it is too costly and excessive pump down time. Now, let's try removing the Schrader while at the same time using a larger diameter hose. Uh, in this case, a half inch hose. <laughs> That took 12 seconds from a uh, minute 7, minute 6 seconds. <laughs> okay, now let's try the 5 CFM pump. Wow, that only took 6 seconds. Uh, so as a review here, um, 
uh, here are the numbers. With the Schrader in place using a quarter inch hose, both pumps took two and a half minutes. With the Schrader removed using a quarter inch hose, both pumps took a little more than a minute. With no Schrader using a half inch diameter hose, that made a huge difference. 12 uh, seconds for the 2 CFM pump, 6 seconds for the 5 CFM pump. Um, here's another way to demonstrate the difference. Pay, atten pay close attention to the uh, objects in the jar. <laughs> Again, a clear difference between the quarter inch and half inch hoses. So to sum it up, uh, regardless of the hose or the pump size, you got to take out the, the uh, Schrader. Um, also remember that a larger diameter hose will be much quicker than a quarter inch hose. And if you're pulling a vacuum through your gauge set, that really slows you down as a worst case scenario. If you're using a micron gauge mounted on the third leg of the valve core removal tool, there's just no need to have the gauge set in line. It just complicates things uh, like a lot of things. We just got to keep it simple. Now keep in mind there are a bunch of other factors that influence evacuation and refrigerant recovery. Stay tuned for more later and hey, I appreciate your time. Uh -huh.